who had an equivocal stress test. Shown here are three-dimensional renderings, volume rendering uh, algorithm. Looking overall at the coronary arteries, you can see that they're all patent. Uh, unfortunately, when you look at 3D, you really don't get an idea about the details of the coronary arteries themselves in terms of pathology, but we can clearly see that everything is patent. Now, if we look at the two-dimensional maximum intensity projection, we are struck with one initial observation. You should begin at the left main, and when you look here at the left main, you can see that there appears to be a distinct narrowing with some calcified and possibly layered on non-calcified plaque in the same distribution at the ostium of the left main coronary artery. There is clearly coronary disease and other vessels, but this becomes the most important finding in a single analysis that we can do and implies that the patient needs to go on for further investigation, including direct coronary arteriography. I try here a variety of ways to see if I can improve on my initial assessment of the two-dimensional MIP <clears throat> by trying to do some thin sectioning, by looking at uh, <clears throat> maximum uh, multiplanar re, uh, re, uh, multiplanar reformats and the varieties. These can be very helpful. You can see here again, you can see the left main down there. It looks like there's really no major obstructive disease, at least in the LAD distribution, but there clearly is what appears to be a severe disease at the proximal left main.